Good morning, Collingswood. I'm Amelia Tra here with Jasmine Clairvo, Kathy Rodriguez, and Ke Theo Berdinsky bring you your morning announcements. Happy Thursday. Today is National Screenwriters Day. Shout out to all my future screenwriters out there. That's actually my dream job and actually the sole reason why I joined TV class in the first place. I've always wanted to become a writer and specifically being a part of a crew, writing movies, scripts, TV shows. It's all just a passion for me. Not to shout out Pause TV too much, but truly, if I hadn't expanded my love of cinema and writing in this class, I really wouldn't be able to do what I do and carry cameras all around the school all the time. Honestly, it's a blessing to have so many talented writers out there writing all of the cool movies out there and making things happen behind the scenes. I'd love to see it happen for me too. Now let's get it rolling with some school news. Attention all seniors, please complete the senior write-up form for the senior Google Classroom by tomorrow. Write about who you are often seen with, who your favorite teachers are, and maybe even throw in a quote, just to get it done. Also seniors, the second senior trip deposit of $562 cash or check is due next Friday. Deliver it to Mr. Dorney in the community room or 306, or go to Mr. McKinney in the gym. The Social Justice Club will be meeting today after school in room 302. All are welcome to come by. If you haven't done so already, make sure to fill out the survey about a potential winter dance. Dr. Offshoff recently sent out the form again, so make sure you check your email. Come on guys, it would be a great opportunity if we had another dance. Let's make it happen. Thank you to everyone who auditioned for Once Upon a Mattress. A reminder that the cast list will be out by Friday at 3 p.m. and then there will be a cast read-through of the script. If you're interested in Model UN and going to the film MUN, see Ms. O'Hagan in 203 or sign up by January 15th. We've said it a million times, but Call's Crazy t-shirts are back. Stop by Mr. Dorney's room in 306 to purchase a shirt for $12. Also, another senior announcement, a scholarship bulletin has been sent out with scholarship application opportunities. Scholarships are an amazing way to save money if you're going to college, so check them out. Thank you all for watching today's school news. Now we're to Piper Kathy Rodriguez with your school sports report. <laughs> Good morning, Collingswood. I'm Kathy Rodriguez here with your school sports report. Last night, wrestling had an anticipated match against Haddonfield. Our wrestlers took a tough loss with a final score of 54 to 12. Shout out Matt Malonowski, Nate Ify, and Max Roseboro. Also, the track team had a meet at Tom's River. The 4x4 team received a third place medal. The team was composed of Elijah Ferguson, Sebastian Chamberlain, Anton Bavone, and Isaiah Pepe. Great work, guys. Today, bowling will play Deptford Township at Bolero in Deptford. The boys team will play at 3.30 p.m. and the girls will play at 4 p.m. Boys basketball will play away at Gloucester at 5.15 p.m. The girls will play home at 5.30 against Gloucester as well. To conclude the schedule, the swimming team will have a match against Sterling at the Croc Center at 5.45 p.m. Best of luck to you all and keep supporting our Cullings with athletes. That's all I've got for today's school sports report. I've been Kathy Rodriguez. Now over to Theo Berdinsky with your entertainment news. Good morning, Collingswood. I'm Theo Berdensky, bringing you your entertainment review. Today, I will be talking about the 2022 action Christmas movie, Violent Night. Upon hearing Violent Night was going to be about a murderous Santa Claus and David Harbour announces Santa, I was very excited to see what it was going to be about. And I am pleased to tell you Violent Night delivered on almost all fronts. Violent Night is a gory, bombastic, and surprisingly wholesome Christmas movie for all action movie fans. Despite Violent Night's plot for being a blatant ripoff of Die Hard and Home Alone, it still worked. 
Rather than John McClane saving the day in Die Hard, it's Santa saving a family trapped inside by terrorists. While its strengths don't rely on original ideas, the movie promises on its over-the-top and fresh action sequences. From the same producers as Nobody and Bullet Train, I was expecting the action to be top-notch, and that's exactly what I got. While Violent Night is not for everyone due to its hardcore action and gore, it certainly delivered on its fun and absurd premise. Four out of five. I've been Theo Berdensky with their entertainment review. Now over to Amelia with your Snapple Fact of the Day, right after the short video special. Great, like the big day is the 24th, which is Noche Buena. That's the day that we gather, we get together, we eat, party, <laughs> dance, um, and usually at midnight we exchange gifts. Some uh, traditional dishes that we make, I'm Puerto Rican, so uh, we make pasteles every year. We've been making them for many, many years. Um, similar to tamales, they're made of um, root vegetables, platanos, and you ground them. Another thing that we make that's super traditional is coquito. People call it like Puerto Rican eggnog. It's, it's a coconut drink. Uh, January 6th is the Three Kings Day. When I was little, that was my Christmas. Uh, that's the day that I would receive gifts. Um, instead of cookies and milk for Santa, we gather grass and water for the camels or horses that are bringing the Three Kings. So after the Three Kings Day, which is January 6th, we have Las Octavitas, which is eight more days of just party, celebration, um, and just being together with family. It was really fun and informative learning about Christmas cultural traditions from our language teachers. This has been Amelia Traw reporting for Panther Productions. That was a holiday package by our very own Eusenia Aguilar about the different holiday traditions in different cultures. Today's Snapple Fact of the Day is that humans share 50% of their DNA with bananas. Dare I say, that's bananas. Thank you all for joining us. I've been Amelia Trout. This is the Pause to Be Crew. We'll all see you tomorrow. Do me a favor and have a great rest of your day.